Anytime faith is provoked, the lion in you must come out. This evening, somebody will go home with another testimony. If you are saying amen, say better amen. My prayer for you also, when it is time for offering, don't run to the toilet. You know I will say it. It must be the devil. You see, God sent a helper that will connect him to the breakthrough. But still, Satan wanted to cheat him. Go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. And when he wanted to give the offering, he was calculating the 50 naira. And the Holy Ghost made sure that is the 500 that he dropped. <laughs> God needed to seal that miracle, but forces were still playing on his mind. Make sure it's the 50 you will drop. On. <laughs> you will not be a victim of the weekend. Any devil that wants to collect anybody in your family, that person will go for himself. You better say a good amen. You will not lose any member of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say you will not lose any member of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they have enchanted you, enchanted any member of your family, let the altar fall! In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is programming any aspect of your life, I decree by the blood and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let their programming backfire. Let their programming backfire. So shall it be. Father, we thank you for what you are said to do today. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Put those hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. Still in our series, Engaging the Unlimited Power of Faith, Part 3. Whatever God has ordained to come to pass in your life, They are bound to come to pass. You don't need to say amen. He said, my counsel shall stand. I'm waiting to see the devil that will say he cannot stand. He said, my counsel shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasure. That's Isaiah 46, think verse 10. Whatever God has ordained to come to pass. Hear this? It is your responsibility to know what has been ordained to come to pass. When you know it, you believe on the capacity of God for delivery. You believe on the integrity of God for fulfillment. By myself have I sworn in blessing I will bless you. In multiplying I will multiply you. So no devil has power no devil can stop the power of faith from having his way. So wherever God will have his way, faith will say, I am there to get it done. No devil. 
Faith has power to retire any witch. To retire any strong man. It has power to extinguish any strong man that is contending with your blessing. But hear this. You must go violent if you want them extinguished. You must go violent if you want them retired. I echo it again to someone's hearing. No devil can stop the power of faith from having its way in your life. You better say good amen. Yeah. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing where to I send it. Whatever needs to come to pass in my life and in your life has already been declared. It's already been spoken, but you need to enforce it. You're declaring it and enforcing it is commanding delivery. The word of the Lord is too sure for it to fail. It can never fail. You see, heaven and earth can pass away, but the least stroke of my word cannot, say with me, cannot, cannot. fall to the ground. It cannot fall to the ground. God's word is too sure. I know you will tell me, I've been saying it, why has it not come? Keep saying it. Keep declaring it. Keep enforcing it. Never get tired declaring it. Only what can stop God from having his way can stop faith from producing. Only what can stop God from having his way can stop faith from producing. Show me the thing that can stop God from having his way. He said, I am the God of all flesh. Nothing is hard for me to do. Isaiah 14 and verse 24. Isaiah 14 and verse 24. And verse 27, we'll read the first one. The Lord of hosts has sworn Say, surely as I have taught, so shall it come to pass. And I have said, propose, so shall it stand. Surely. Say with me, surely. Surely, surely you must marry. Amen. Surely as I have taught. And he made them male and female. Surely as I have taught, so shall it stand. And as I propose, so shall it come to pass. Verse 27. For the Lord of hosts has proposed. And who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out. And who shall turn it back? He has proposed it. And who shall disannul it? Who shall disannul it? Please, who is that who in your life? I say you can't have it. Who is that personality that has appeared to you in the dream? And say you can never get it. I assure you the person will be buried. I say I assure you, write it down, the person will be buried. Who shall this it? His hand is stretched out. And who shall turn it back? Let them form one million gang up. Surely they shall gather. But not by me. Anyone. Anybody is free to put his name on? Yes. Surely they shall gather. But not by me. Anyone. You are free to put your name. I don't have any problem with that. You are free to put your name. But as you are putting your name, putting your name, also know the consequence that goes with it. 
Surely they shall gather, but not by me. Anyone that gather against you shall fall. They shall fall. They shall fall. They shall fall. They shall fall. Esther chapter 6 and verse 13. And Haman told Zeresh his wife and the wise men. Told Zeresh his wife and all his friends. Everything that had begun to befall him. Then said his wise men and Zeresh his wife unto him. If Mordecai be of the seed of the Jew. Before whom thou art begun to fall. Thou shalt not prevail against him. But thou shalt surely fall. Whoever has risen up against you to contend and fight against your blessing, I prophesy, they shall fall. I said, they shall fall. <laughs> when your wife is the one advising you, eh? She don't see what you know. See, if Mordecai be of the seed of the Jew. Before whom thou hast begun to fall. She knows that you are already going down. Write it down. I said so. No devil can stop God's plan for your life. When God was proposing his plan for your life, the devil was not there. He did not consult anybody. Nobody was his PA. Nobody was his special advisor over your life. So no one can alter that plan. You alter it, you, you get punctured. And that's how God will be puncturing every devil. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Only what can stop God from having his way can stop faith from producing in your life. Wherever faith goes, God goes. Wherever faith goes. Don't forget what we are told earlier before now that faith comes by hearing but it works by speaking. Wherever faith goes, God goes. Don't stop speaking what you believe. No matter how the environment looks, how your body feels, no matter the facts on ground, don't stop speaking what you believe. The more you speak it, the more you commit God. Wherever faith goes, God goes. faith is at work there is a hand that is at work that sister said in her testimony whatever I want to take your life I curse it go show up God is not only a blessing God he's a cursing God that's why I say I will bless them that bless you. And in that causes you, I will do what? I will cause. Wherever faith is at work, there is a hand at work. To get the hand of God to walk over any issue of your life, Switch on the right frequency. Who has believed our reports? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? You don't only believe his reports by nodding your head, I believe. No. If you believe, declare. Declare. As you are believing it, be declaring it. As you are believing it, you are declaring it. 
as you are declaring it, you are engaging the forces of the spirit. You are engaging the forces of the spirit. You are engaging the forces of the spirit. And as you are engaging the forces of the spirit, you begin to see the moves. Say with me, the moves. Because God has moves. Scripture says that his ways are past finding out. He makes a way where there seems to be no way. Yesterday night, Papa was teaching on the mystery of faith in handling some dangerous issues. Please, if you don't have that book, Exploit of Faith or Understanding the Power of Faith, please go and buy it. Go and buy. God's hand is revealed every time his word is declared. He said, open your mouth wide and I will have filled it. Psalm 81, let's read it from verse 10. Very quick, please. Psalm 81 and verse 10. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will have I will feel it. Verse 11. But my people will not hearken to my voice. And Israel will none of me. Verse 12. So I gave them up unto their own heart lost. And they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. And Israel had walked in my ways. Look at the next verse. I should soon have subdued their enemies. And turn my hand against their adversaries. Pause. Don't remove it or leave it there. He said, open your mouth. And begin to speak. And as you are speaking, I will subdue your enemy. As you are speaking, I will subdue them. And I will turn my hand. May God's hand not turn against you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I will have turned my hand against your adversary. When God's hand turns against your enemy, everything will turn against them. The earth will fight them. The air will fight Everything will just begin to work against them. When we enter this realm, we enter the realm of dangerous prayer. Oh Lord! Whoever has vowed not to let me rest, let your hand be against him. Whoever is fighting your purpose and plan for my life, let everything about them scatter. Let their body fail. Let the air they breathe fail. The person will enter calamity. I, I should have soon subdued them. Where am I getting this one from? Let no man trouble me again. For I bear in my body the mark of Christ. And he said again, I will recompense with tribulation them that trouble you. You trouble me, get ready for trouble. You will see trouble and run. So God is saying, speak. Let me be against them and let my hand work against them. When God's hand work against you, know that Satan are taking over you. But I still say again, you can't enter this class until you enter the realm of violence. You have been too gentle over that issue. Take on violence now and see whether the devil will not give up. Take on violence. Any problem, any issue you pamper, you can never hammer. You pamper the issue, you can't hammer it.
for faith to work for you and bring God's hands over the matter. You must keep speaking. I should have soon subdued your enemies and turned my hand against them. Hear this? That problem is waiting for your declaration. Because when you declare, that problem will begin to expire. I want to let you know that problem will expire. Yeah. Scripture says, surely there is an end. And thy expectation shall not. The end of that problem is in your mouth. Declare. And watch out to see what God will do. Declare. Tell your neighbor, declare. Yeah. The end of that crisis, the end of that manipulation is in your mouth. Declare and watch out how God will end them. Surely there is an end. Hear me? You are the referee of your problem. The day you blow your whistle, you give your enemy red card. That's the meaning of enough is enough. To make faith produce for you, there must be a diligent search on your part. There is no problem in life that does not have solution. Even mathematical problem. Am I correct? Before you set the problem, there is an answer. Uh -huh. And God has the answer. You shall call upon me and I will answer you. God knows the answer. So he will show you the answer to solve the problem. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? He shows you the answer to solve the problem. There is no everlasting problem anywhere. Except you are under an eternal cause from God. There is no everlasting problem. Every problem has a solution. That is why scripture said in 2 Timothy, is it 2 Timothy or 1 Timothy chapter 2 Show thyself a man that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth. Study, it says, study to show thyself a man that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The essence of study to show is so that you study to get answer. Study to get solution. The reason why we read books is because in the process of reading, we become enlightened. Ephesians 1 Verse 17, Paul said, I keep asking that the God and Lord of our Father will give unto you the Spirit. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the Spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of Him. Verse 18, that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of His calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sense that you may know that you may know the people that do know their God they shall be strong and do exploits the knowledge and you shall know that truth and the truth you know shall set you free so you need to know 
knowing very important if you don't know what i know you can't do what i'm doing until you know what i know you begin to do what i'm doing so knowing very very important faith thrives on knowledge faith becomes more potent when knowledge is on the rise no wonder apostle peter say add to your faith knowledge what are you adding to your faith it's either you are adding something to your faith or something is collecting your faith it's either you are adding something to your faith or something is collecting even the little faith you had but scripture say add to your faith knowledge if you must add to it you must go in search of it what you don't search you don't find And thank God, scripture says, the glory of God to conceal a matter is the honor of kings to search them out. So you must go and search it out. If it is very important to you, do you know why you are very complacent? I'm very relaxed. I'm very lazy. You have not mean business. The thing has not do you enough. It never do you enough. When you think, don't do you enough, you go go look for the book. You know, at times, some people will come for counseling, we recommend, go and buy this book. We ask bookshop, did anybody come? We didn't see anybody. They don't take off. What they want is prayer. 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 Pastor, just pray. Pray. I agree, prayer works. But miracles are sustained by the word. No wonder people that are looking for quick fees, they look for this pastor prayer, no work. Now your head fail, not be my prayer fail. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Now your whole head fail, not be my prayer fail. There was no faith in you in the first place to catch the prayer. So the next thing they will look for one other place where they are doing a abracadabra. They will look for where they are doing sharp, sharp. From there, you will locate another one. One came one day and said that, uh, that she has gone to TB Joshua. I'm not angry with TB Joshua. Continue. Go and be doing your TB Joshua there. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When you are tired, you will come and sit down under the ward. What produces the miracle is the word. Most of us are giving our attention over what does not matter. And that's why you will never matter. When you are giving your attention over what does not matter to your life and your destiny, you will not matter. When you are busy in the minor, you will lose your miracle and your breakthrough. Satan has been in the game of deception for long. You are just in kindergarten. Yeah, Satan is an associate prof. I hear him saying that. He has been in the game of deception for long. So he knows how to corner you with irrelevant matters. And when you, your attention has been carried away with issues that does not connect to your breakthrough, you will just be swayed by useless things. Useless issues. Issues that are not even adding 0.001% to your life. You now go and carry it as someone that is carrying cement. He has been doing deception for long. He didn't start today. He didn't start today. 
to prove me whether I'm right or wrong. When you go back to the carry paper, write down the things that are a concern to you, you will discover that 80% are not your issue. Or 85% are not your immediate issue. So, your potentials are exhausted on irrelevant things. Your spiritual, your mental energy, they are exhausted on things that does not even add value to you. So how will you now score against the devil? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age. That is why there is need for you to be on a search. Because <laughs> uh, one mathematics teacher says something. You can't use a sine formula to solve a cosine problem. Did you understand what I mean? You can't use a sine formula to solve a cosine problem. And you know, one, one beautiful thing about mathematics, some e equations, they look alike. Hey, I don't see them before, I don't see them before. The next thing you go begin, you go to solve this, and say, I give the teacher, I give him assignment. <laughs> Not knowing that he has failed, hopefully. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell your neighbor, study. Do you know what? The enemy is smart in making sure that you don't have time to study. He's fighting everybody. He wants to make sure you don't have time to study. Anytime study, it is time for study. We are always in a hurry. We want to get it done, sharp, sharp. But if it's time to watch a movie, your eyes go shine, baka. You go watch the film reach four o'clock. Am I saying the truth? Your eyes are alert. I want to watch the last episode. Or you are reading a book, a book. Sleep with your knack and boa. It must be a concern to you. Tell your neighbor, it must be a concern to you. If it's not yet a concern to you, it cannot produce for you. It cannot produce for you. You can't increase your faith capacity until you increase your reading capacity. Your faith capacity can grow beyond your reading capacity. You must. My son, pay attention to my word. Incline thy ears unto my saying, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. My son, pay attention to my word. Incline thy ears unto my saying, for they are life unto thee and health unto thy whole flesh. Proverbs chapter 4, verse um, 20, 20, 21. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. You must pay attention. You must pay attention. The attention you give will determine the attainment you get. So you must build up. Our faith is constantly going through a process of build up. Build up. We don't only build up by praying in tongues. We build up by studying. Build up your most holy faith. The building process goes from word study to prayer. It's not just by, just enter tongues. Dry tongues. No wonder the tongues are dry. You build up in word study. In listening to messages. You know, messages have a way of empowering your faith. Strengthening you. Giving you an assurance. You are coming out with a testimony. You have had somebody's own. They will hear your own. 
So you need that regularly. If this is what faith can do, what then is faith again? Now hear this. Faith is a spiritual partnership with the invisible God to do the impossible things. How do we partner with God? The process of partnering, first of all, we must believe. You partner with God, number one, by believing in God. He that cometh to God must believe. You don't partner with who you can't trust. You don't partner with who you can't work with. Can two work together except they be agreed? Partnership is an agreement. Partnership works by agreement. I believe in you. I trust in you. I can put everything in your hand and go and sleep. That is partnership. Faith partners spiritually with the invisible God. And when you partner with the invisible God, you win over impossible matters. They say it cannot be done. You say, no, my God can break through any place. My God can open any door. My God can reverse it. So your partnering with God is your personal tax. Hear me? Every day we need to increase our belief. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. If you believed yesterday, much more today you must believe. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. And Jesus said, who has believed? He said, if thou canst believe, thou shalt see. What you believe determines what you see. If you don't believe, you will not see. If thou canst believe, thou shalt see. What you believe creates an atmosphere for the wonder-working hand of God over your matter. What you believe. My God is a miracle God. My God is a miracle God. He has never failed. He will never fail. He will do what he says he will do. He will do what he says he will do. I can see him walking in my favor. I can see him fighting in my battles. I can see him bringing in my miracles. He will do. Faith works in the invisible, so you must see your God walking. I believe him, so I see him. I see him walking. When you begin to operate faith, you become too dangerous for your enemy. Because you are past the realm of trusting yourself. Yes. You are past the realm of trusting yourself. You have entered the realm of relying on the infallibility of the power of God. God cannot fail. God cannot lie. God cannot fail. So partnering with God every day, you strengthen your partnership. Just like you, you strengthen your relationship with your partner, your wife. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You strengthen it. Two are better than one. And they will have a good reward for their labor. One shall chase a thousand. Two shall chase ten thousand. You are the one that is weakening the hand of God from performing in your life. 
who has believed our reports and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. The strength of God's hand at work over your matter is at the mercy of your trust in him. It's at the mercy of your trust. So as you are trusting God, you are giving him more chance. You are creating more avenues for him to do it. So partnership on a daily basis. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I believe you. You have never failed before. Lord, I believe you. Whatever is possible with man, whatever is not possible with man is only possible with you. Lord, I know you can get it done for me. I see your hand bringing it to pass. You are reassuring yourself. I, the Lord, such at the heart. As you are saying, is he searching your heart? I, the Lord, such at the heart. And I examine the ray to reward every man according to his deed. So every morning you have one assignment. Trust in God. Boost your trust. Boost your belief. Your problem is not stronger than God. No matter who is involved in that matter. Every time you increase your belief in God, you are bringing God to appear over your matter. You don't know? You are bringing God to appear over your matter. And lastly, before we rise up to pray, faith is not a beggarly force, but a conquering force. Father, if it is your will for me to marry, become sister, become reverend sister. Father, if it is your will for me to marry, bring the husband. You are talking like an ignorant person. Father, if it is your will for me to marry, bring the husband. Are you a reverend sister? Father, if it is your will for me to have a child, touch my womb. Shut up. <laughs> Scripture says, and none shall be barren in the land. You are not Micaiah, and you will never be Micaiah. That's the only person that was smitten with barrenness in the Bible. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? He said, and none, say with me, none, shall be buried in the land. Lord, if it is your will for me to prosper, give me a good job. It's the demon of poverty that is making you pray that prayer. In fact, you are not even sure of your redemption. Because if you know what redemption means, if you know what it means to be born again, you won't be praying the, all those mumu mumu prayer. He was made poor so that through his poverty, we might become rich. Don't pity yourself. I must be rich. I say I must be rich. Say after me, I must be rich. No apologies to any devil. I must be rich. Any devil that is angry should go and hug transformer. Just as you are going now, just look for where that transformer is and go and hug it. <laughs> Say it again. I must be rich. Faith is not a beggarly force. But a conquering force. Whatsoever is born of God. Are you born of God? Yes, Overcome the world. And this is the victory. That overcome the world. Even our faith. Ephesians 6 and verse 16. Everybody rise up. Ephesians 6 and verse 16. Above all. Taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall say with me, I shall, I shall. Be, able. be able. Say it again after me, I shall, I shall. Be, able. be able to quench, to quench, to quench. All. 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 all the fiery darts of the wicked. Faith is not a beggarly force. It's a conquering force. It's a winning force. It's a triumphant force. The implication is, I will win over this matter. 
I will win over this problem. I will win over that wicked man or wicked woman. You can't win me. You can't stand the fire from my mouth. I will dry you up like stockfish. You cannot. Because I know God is on my side, not on your side. You hear me? Before any battle, know who is God supporting. Find out who God is supporting before you start the fight. If not, you will come, back, come out with bruises and wounds all around you. I want to let you know, God is on your side. Yeah. Taking the seed of faith. Wear it. You shall be able to quench all. To quench means you will delete that problem. You are going to open your mouth now. Whatever has confronted your family, your destiny, your expectation, your career, your finance, your family, open your mouth now. Say to that problem, today you will expire. Declare to that challenge, dry up from your roots. oppression and manipulation of the enemy over my matter I prophesy dry up by fire whatever look like an oppression of wickedness over my life over my destiny, over my family, by the vengeance of the blood of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, dry up by fire. Dry up. Dry up. witchcraft gang up of evil men and evil women over my life over my family over my matter I prophesy to your camp be broken in pieces be broken in pieces le kataka toprake Le Zurush et Opara and Le Kula Kalet Opolo Le Hando Jacuziza Pela Tolapa and Le Coterio de Oshata Whoever, wherever, evil cancers have been taken against me. The vengeance joy of the Holy Ghost. Dry up now. Die. 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 By fire. By fire. Sponsors of problem against me. I prophesy your end. Aspire by Fire! Le kote kete, pela do sataka, ila kono breke tolia, le kobreke telete. Thank you, thank you. Winning God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Seems to say, through faith in the blood, as you partake of this communion, whatever look like an evil voice, an evil decree, a witchcraft manipulation over your life 
over that matter. I decree by the blood of Jesus, let them expire. Amen. That amen is too weak. Amen. Whoever sponsored an arrow against you through dream, I decree by the communion today, let the deposit of wickedness be flushed out. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Whoever has enchanted you before evil altars, as you partake of this communion, I withdraw your name, I replace their name. You better say amen. I see somebody coming out. of your life they have enchanted by this communion I withdraw your name I replace their name I replace their name I replace their name that person will go for you that person will go for you you better say good amen oh. affliction will not rise the second time. Whatever you were expecting, which I know God can do, by this communion, that blessing will manifest. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, confirm your word again. In Jesus' name we pray.